Hello, my name is Eric Dubé. I live in uh, the Asia. The Earth is flat. So Owen is not a truther, he's a friend. What does that mean, Eric Dubé? You're about to get banned for life. I don't give a fuck how many people like you. How am I not a truther? What does that mean? I don't seek the truth? Eric Dubé, explain yourself or you're banned for life. Because if you say I'm not a truther, that has a very passive-aggressive element to it. Eric. No, I, I, I like Dubé. I don't know anything about Dubé, but I, I like the name. Eric Dubé. It sounds nice. Your name is Eric. Eric. Eric backwards is sire. You think I don't know truth is important, you stupid cunt? Eric, I want to be your buddy here. Eric teaches truth. Yeah. Eric sounds like a fucking cult leader. Eric's done. You think I give a flying fuck about your little flat earth bullshit? Of course he never fucking super chats. Did Dubay get banned? No, Dubay's not banned. But I wanted Dubay to know that this is not his cult. It's my cult. He's, I'm gonna have him on no matter what. I'm, ex I'm excited to have on Eric Dubay. I was just trying to, you know, impose a little dominance. I'm excited to meet Eric Dubay. Five grand. If it's not worth five grand to you for me to talk to Eric Dubay, then you don't really give a shit about the truth. Cash, check, gold, silver, money order. Send it, bitch. How, how bad do you want it? Because that's not selling out. Dubay isn't like a special ops guy. It's like, Dubay's ready, dude. Let him in. Let him in. It's like, dude, he's not fucking Jackie Chan. I now I'm doing another thing. We'll we'll talk we'll do it we'll talk about that another stream. Please, brother, give Eric Dubay a call. I, I it was a mistake to even say that I should I should have him on. Him and his people overtake every fucking chat. Everyone's like Dubay is here. Dubay will will fix everything. I don't give a fuck. And I, he seems he, he gave me a compliment on Ursa Manor, which I really appreciate, Dubay. Thank you. Don't ever force me to do anything, or I will literally burn everything to the ground. If someone's like, "Oh my God, this guy's here. You must let him in," I'm like, "Well, now he's dead. I just I just killed him." It's like, "Oh, you're having a party? You have to let in Savanye. Savanye must be in this party." Oh my God, Savanye is outside. I'm like, "Well, we're playing beer pong." Savanye? Is Savanye here? I, I, and then someone go, oh my god, someone killed Savanye! And I'm just standing over Savanye and I'm like, now, now Savanye never comes in. Go back to the game of beer pong. Uh, Savanye? Oh my god, is Savanye here? You must speak. And then Savanye is like, I am here. Someone killed Savanye! And I'm like, and I will kill everyone at this party if anyone says the fucking word Savanye ever again. Everyone dies, I will play beer pong alone. I will play beer pong alone. Savanya is like, I'm here, let me in now. It's like, no, I, I sent you an invitation, but I'm here now. My name is Savanya. I'm willing to play beer pong with you. Yeah, but there's already, there's eight people in line. Savanya? You must speak to Savanya. And then like half the party's like, oh Jesus, not Savanya again. Just fucking talk about the words and the Jews and the fun stuff. Why the fuck is everyone talking about Savanya again? And then, then the other half of the party's like, Savanya knows everything. If you talk to Savanya, he will make your world complete. And then, oh my god, Savanya's bleeding out! By the way, I did not actually kill Eric Dubé, and I have nothing against Eric Dubé. It's just there is a Eric Dubé type effect. Every time Dubé comes in the chat, and everyone's like, Savanya is here! His name is Jillian Savanya. Jillian Savanya has set the world free. When no one would speak, Jillian Savanya spoke. It's a great time to ban people because that was clearly funny. Like what I just said was clearly hysterically funny. And what? Like Savanya. Oh my God, Savanya. And so anyone that's like, oh my God, Owen, you have serious anger problems. You're now banned for life. I want to suck an old man's dick. Hey, look! Hey, 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 look! I want to suck an old man's dick. I'm so thirsty for it. I want to suck an old man's dick. Hey, look! I want to suck an old man's dick. And I like to draw my penis. I don't want to fuck you. You sick old fuck. My penis. What the big bear? What big bear? What the big bear? What big bear? What the big bear?
jerking off gay guys. My penis. My penis. This is a real job, you dumb. My cunt. penis. My penis. Crowd and pound. Nah, fuck it. I'm out of here. You guys are a bunch of fucking assholes. Crowder's just, I mean, he's just, he's just openly gay. He's like, gimme dick. Okay, gay guy. Easy. Crowder may be bisexual. He has to do anal. The dude butt fucks in a cornfield with Glenn Beck. Crowder did Rogan. Man, they definitely sucked each other off. Fucking faggots. And for those of you that think, oh, Owen's paranoid, he gets paranoid. Yeah, if you live my life, you'd be paranoid too. People actually do follow me around grocery stores. That's actually true in my life. You don't have to live that, because you're an asshole. That's Sidekick Bear. Owen Benjamin is sitting there calling Steven Crowder a homosexual. Meanwhile, he was working for this homosexual, and Crowder wasn't a homosexual when, when Owen was sucking his dick. But now that Crowder doesn't want Owen to suck his dick anymore, <laughs> all of a sudden, Owen is bitching and crying. Dude. Dude. Calling Ben Shapiro a faggot. Like, it just like, sounds like a little schoolboy who can't get what he wants, so he just calls everybody gay. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, buddy, you were the one telling us that these people weren't gay and they were people to look up to. Yeah. You, you. Sticking up for these guys ago, he's calling gay. Two months ago, you were like cool with all these guys. All of a sudden, you're against them, but you told us not to, to like them. I don't understand. I'm so. No, remember, oh. he was sticking up for Alex being like, no, uh, Alex is genuinely like. <laughs> He, he's a good guy. And that was only like three months ago. <laughs> and then a week later. <laughs> <sighs> like if you guys want a drunk to laugh at, okay, yeah, we'll keep watching Owen Benjamin. Imagine if that was booze. Man, I miss beers. Man, drinking beers, that was so fun. Because the only reason I watch. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's funny because now it's like watching a drunk who's trying to pretend he's not a drunk and just because he drinks <laughs> off camera now because his wife's been bitching at him too much, then all of a sudden he's not a drunk. No more kombucha? <sighs> no, you don't have to go to the store. Uh, do we have anything that, that mimics a beer but isn't beer? And we, we can all forget about about a month and a half ago that he was whipping beer cans at his dog. George! Stop! Do I have to beat the dog? I might have to beat the dog. Oh, the pioneers of the 21st century. <laughs> All of a sudden, everybody's a faggot. All of a sudden, according to Owen Benjamin. Everybody. It doesn't matter if you have kids and family and everything. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's like, like when we call people gay, they're gay. We're not just calling like random people gay just because we're, we're mad, mad at, at them. them yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like Owen's sitting there trying to come up with every uh, excuse he can to like call Crowder gay. But then meanwhile, he was in those sketches That's that he was calling gay. With all, with Crowder, like he was what an, on the bandwagon with Crowder. He was probably writing those gay jokes <laughs> for him and being like, "No, Crowder, just hike up your pants some more, show pull some a, more, pull uh, a thong in your uh, butthole <laughs> more." <laughs> but now he's telling us not to like Crowder. It's like so confusing. He's a faggot. That's what I mean. It's so schizo. It's like one minute we have we should like Crowder and Crowder's funny and he's a talented guy. And he's a good conservative. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's funny. He's, like they're good friends and they do stuff together and they're funny and blah blah blah. Now to he's he's, lo he's logos. <laughs> <laughs> he can't be in the bear club anymore. <laughs> You're kicked out of the beer club. <laughs> You're not a bear anymore. No beer and no bear. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. He's the type that would call it all of his friends gay, but meanwhile he was at the gay club with all of his friends. With them. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Gay. That's who he is. Like yeah. You're, you're in those sketches that you're calling Crowder gay with. Yeah, I whacked off with a bunch of other dudes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but it's just what we did back where I grew up. <laughs> Literally, I what was he being said. groomed. <laughs> you know the same the same shit he's talking about. <laughs> Like I experienced when I was really little, right? When I was, when we were in Europe, I was in the boys changing room and a bunch of kids got in the circle, just started beating off together. Like, I swear to God. But then I'm this like Middle Eastern kid who's like looking at a bunch of these kids just beating up in, in a circle, okay? And I'm like, that's gross. And I put my clothes on, and I quickly left. Meanwhile, Owen was the kid that was like, hey guys, let me in the circle. You know what I mean? And now he'll call them all gay. Why didn't you tell me you were, why didn't you tell me there was a whack off circle? <laughs> and then as soon as they don't like him anymore, hey guys, they were all part of a whack off circle. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Owen, we gotta watch it just for the laughs. Fucking faggots. <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna piss off a lot of bears, a lot of uh, Owen's followers. Uh, we're gonna have a lot followers. of followers. They're gonna. But if I, you can I want him, I want it, it that way, you should be able to jokes. take it this way. You know what I mean? <laughs> he do, that's what he does all day is cuss people out. So why can't we say what we yeah, feel Owen about Yeah, Owen, be lo lo what is, logos. It's all about it's all about money for that faggot. Owen, don't be, don't don't. You gotta be logos. Be logos, okay? Logos. Tell your bears to be logo. Low. Say Down it, say bear. It. Say it with us, low goes. <laughs> I don't understand why people want to take advice from this guy. This guy failed at his career in Hollywood, lost all of his friends because his uh, agency dropped him because he literally went off the handle. And he's gonna use that to say, no, I just went into the truther community and that's why they said I went off. No, 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 no. I, we've been truthers. We know what truther are. I see this guy as the biggest opportunist. That's why he's been stringing along all of these flat earthers for so long. Eric Dubay in the chat. Yeah, I'm excited to talk to him. Eric, let's, uh, let's maybe Monday, if you want to stream in. Because he's in, uh, he's in Asia somewhere. Being like, oh yeah, I'm gonna listen to Flat Earth and I'm gonna talk about it and I'm gonna drop pebbles, a little pebble here, a little pebble there. Come on, little doggy. And he's just leading them like, I don't understand about how Flat people Earth can't because see this. It's controversial. People are interested in stuff like that. People watch Flat Earth videos every day. That's it's, my it's point. It's an untapped That's why he's market. He's talking about it so he can reel in those followers and For then not actually talk about who it. He, a conservative dude who started off with only conservative followers, right? People who were more right leaning conservatives that's what he was more of a pro-trump conservative person back in the day right so he already has all of those conservative people as his fans now what does he need he needs more fans because he doesn't have what he used to have before he doesn't have the promotion or the agency or anybody backing him anymore he basically got thrown out of hollywood literally and so he had to go and start a farm and he's making it sound like starting a farm and having children is like an epiphany and he's that's the only when, one yeah. doing it and he's a pioneer for Fear. and i'm just like bro come on we've been doing that like over 10 years ago we've come been homesteading on. and do farming doing and we're not sitting here about, high and mighty on our soapbox screaming to people trying to make it seem like we're some special i built a garden bed oh my yeah, god i raised a raised bed i, I built a fence. garden bed a fence i built a fence like yeah buddy welcome to the real world if i appreciate the fact that you got your head out of hollywood and that you're in the real world where people live on farms and have to build fences and take care of animals <laughs> and then he's coming here and yelling to other people about how they're not doing what he just discovered it's like buddy you just discovered what the truth community is you shouldn't be here lecturing people that's what i was saying about owen from the very beginning he's learning these new conspiracies right like just learning about them and then coming on youtube as if nobody else knows about fluoride or t talking about nukes not being real as if owen figured this out and it comes on his channel and talks about it as if he's known this for over 10 years and if when he's and, and, just waking up to this stuff and he's I, making his followers like or people who are listening feel like they're stupid for not knowing this even though he just discovered it himself but no he has a 168 90 95 i IQ, he can take that test right now. You know what? Give me $25,000 and I'll take the IQ test right now. You know what? Because I'm so smart and everybody else listening to me is such an idiot. Like, he just comes He's off. such a troll. He went and trolled Eric Dubé to come and do an interview with him. And then as soon as Eric's like, okay, yeah, let's do this. I'm not bringing Savanye on my show. Eric Dubé. You want to talk to me about fucking Flat Earth, motherfucker? You better have some little bit of respect. You're banned for life. One more and you're banned for life. One more and you're banned for life. And then you don't get to come on my stream, motherfucker. It's not because I'm scared of the earth being flat. 
It's because you're being a cunt. One more, Eric. One more and you're out. Because you can get out, you can get high and mighty when you're in this category. When you're like a flat earther, I understand you get a lot of shit. But when you're in a fucking, that community, and you're like, obviously he doesn't know the truth. Why don't you sound like? A 15th century pope is what you sound like. You don't think I know that shit? You don't think I was raised Catholic, motherfucker? One more comment, Eric, and you're banned for fucking life. I'm looking. One more, Eric. One more. One more saying, oh, you're, friendship over truth. You're, you're banned for life. One more. I'm watching. Hang on. Hang on. I just saw an Eric. Was that the right Eric? Savanye. Savanye better shut the hell up or I'm going to kick him out of this chat. If you guys want to see Savanye because you won't shut up about him, you're going to have to give me $25,000 so I can talk no, to no, Savanye. No. First he said he wants 3000 to talk to Savanye. Now all 5, of a sudden 000. he wants $5,000 from his followers just so he can interview or not even do an interview, just talk to Eric Dubay. He, he doesn't want to talk to him. five grand from his followers. No, 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 no. He has to go look up some stuff first so he has some rebuttals so that he can like rebuke what Eric is saying. It's like, what are you saying? This was just supposed to be a friendly chat with him. Why do you want to look that's up? That's why what, no offense to David on? Weiss. No offense to David Weiss. But this is why uh, Owen Benjamin brought David Weiss on to talk about Flat Earth instead of Eric Dubé who was waiting for him to just pick up the phone and call him. He was in, even in his chat room while he was doing his show and he's yelling at Eric Dubé. But then he won't bring Eric on, he'll bring David Weiss who he thinks he can intellectually par with. Right. But if he brings Dubé on, he's going to school him and make him look like a little schoolboy. I don't know, sounds a little cunty. Sounds a little cunty. Maybe a little Eric Duguay. Exactly. You know and, what I mean? and, and, and the thing is with Owen, people don't seem to un get this part of this guy, but I've seen it because I've been watching him ever since he got on YouTube. This guy cannot take the fact that there are other people that do know some things that he doesn't know. It irks him. It eats at his core. The fact that there's somebody out there named Eric Dubé who knows a lot about a topic that he doesn't know. Well, I'll be damned. Somebody knows something that this 169,000 IQ doesn't know. All day he's just bragging about his IQ. So of course it will make him feel like less of a person if someone's coming on and being like, oh no, this is this and this is how it is and blah, blah, blah. Fact of a fact of a fact. He's like, he can't take it. That's why he's starts making fun of Eric Dubé to the point where he's calling him Savanier. He won't even use his name. No, he's just doing that to make fun of him. People are all like, oh, Owen Benjamin is like woke and blah, blah, blah. He went against all of his friends. If you were friends with someone and they literally went against every single one of your friends or the friends that they had, would you trust that person? You don't trust people that are untrustable because of the way they treat other people who are supposed to be important to them. He like dogs on Jordan Peterson all day when Jordan Peterson's done nothing no, that would be- He's jealous because his agency pushed Jordan Peterson and focused on Jordan Peterson as their big guy who yep. they were employing. And then Owen got butthurt because he got pushed to the side. Yep. Jordan Peterson became a bigger thing and he became a big international and he's like, star. Exactly. Traveling And Owen the world. was an international star whose star faded and very, died. Very died. quickly it, and is still diminishing. And so that's why he went against all of his friends. It's not because he had a whole change of heart and no, blah blah Owen blah. Tries to no, make it seem like Let's be he's real. not a sellout, and that's why he left Alex and Crowder and everybody else he's beefing with. Meanwhile, he only left when they kicked him to the side. You exactly. know what I mean? He was he's already still out. stuck around Alex when everybody else started deserting Alex and started waking up to the fact that he was a sellout just as much as the young everybody Turks else. and everybody exactly. else. And if you were listening to this guy and you really think he's that revolutionary, you want it coming from someone who's sitting in their like garage or whatever this is drinking beer and cussing and using profanity and just being disrespectful like just straight up disrespectful there's like i don't even understand how anybody can listen to this and take it serious i listen to this and i'm like laughing at 80 percent of this shit because yeah, i'm like we're what not is the this butthurt type like we'll, we find most of his stuff like entertaining and some of it is funny right that's mostly but all it is entertaining. when when Owen thinks it's funny to make a song and just constantly say nigger 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 and then laugh about it as if it's funny you're the only one that finds this funny he laughs at his own joke 
laughs more than other people laugh at his jokes. He went from being sort of funny when he was funny, that was sort of funny, to not funny at all and now just disrespectful. Whatever, do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want, it's the free world. But I don't have to sit here and listen to some dude dis be disrespectful for three hours straight and then turn around and have people saying how amazing Owen Benjamin is and then mirroring his videos yeah. as if this guy's some sort of God, I'm like, come like, on, guys. Owen is now attacking Crowder, which <laughs> I don't even like. He's dissing Crowder, but only after Crowder kicks him to the side and doesn't want anything to do with him. That's what I you mean what about I mean? turning against his friends. It's like he turned against his friends and then they kicked him out and then he's gonna turn around and say no they sold out so i left that's the same thing he's saying about hollywood he started like he was he literally got kicked out and then afterwards saying i left and i'm like no you can't be just saying you left when you got kicked out his agency drops him but somehow he on his he own left. will got up and left because his morals are way too high and his standards are way too high for hollywood and he just can't morally put up with this anymore. If people can't see an opportunist who will, who just like, that's why he claims to be so smart because he thinks he's pulling a fast one on you guys. People don't see this stuff for what it is, but this guy constantly claims how smart he is and he's so smart. He thinks he's pulling a fast one on, on every, all of his viewers. He can come out here and say, bear this and bear that. And I'm a Christian man. And I got family and blah, 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 because those are the words that people want to hear. But then turn around and listen to what the guy actually says. Give me money to do interviews. He's it's on the show insane. today asking for $5,000 to interview Eric Dubay and then saying, Give me $3,000 and I'll interview whoever you want and $2,500 for me to do a live IQ test. And and if he's that smart, then get some new material, not stuff that we you no, can I, just I think go he's Google actually... and YouTube and then look, watch two videos on it and then come and act like this is revolutionary. What's what are he people saying that's so... revolutionary that nobody's heard before? Seriously. The no nukes thing, Eric, he's stealing that from Eric Dubé and then telling you he's not going to bring Eric Dubé on for, unless you give him $5,000. No, but he's revolutionary. You know what's funny? Is this guy, Owen Benjamin is like a nobody if you think about it internationally. Of course. And this guy wants this guy. five grand to talk to somebody no but yeah. you know what he'll say he'll come out and be like i was just joking guys i'm a comedian uh duh i bet you you, you, can, you low you can iq interview, idiots you can interview do an interview <laughs> with obama for less than five thousand dollars no he'll come out and Does say that, it was a joke he is? he'll come out and be like you low iq morons this was just a joke i didn't mean it even though he did mean it because he was 100 dr drunk the day before and, he, and then he watches his videos the, the, next the day after and, and regrets like, oh, everything shit. he says that's why he's like oh i'm not drinking anymore i stopped drinking now go back two three months and look at this guy and see if you really want to take advice from someone like that the guy literally was degenerating into degeneratism and i'm just watching it laughing because to me this is entertainment i don't learn anything from this show because i already know every single thing this guy says i've already known it since i was like 19 years old so what is he saying that is so amazing that i've got the truth community licking scrotum i don't know i don't just, i don't, just don't know what to say anymore like i don't get it see eric dubé right now is working on a on a project and he's refusing to do interviews with anybody else but he's accepted to do an interview with owen benjamin but this cocksucker wants five grand to talk to him. Who no, the he, fuck is gonna give you five thousand dollars to talk to somebody? No, he'd rather sit here, cuss, yell, say nigger, bitch, homo, just all the stuff that he knows are trigger words, right? Exactly. So he'll say that stuff, just like he'll say, "I'm ju a family ju man." Ju 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 yeah, ju 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 I'm a family man. I'm homesteading. I raise my own animals. I'm out of the the matrix. He he says words that he knows people want to hear that are sensational words, right? So he knows if he says these words he's gonna get people to it's like lamb to the slaughter he's just leaving little pebbles so that people just follow him and that's why he's so mad at Savanye, because he thinks Savanye is like the leader of the flat earth like he probably he thinks there's some sort of like organization no, he's jealous <laughs> because eric dubay has like a following so when eric is in the chat they all start talking to eric and he gets jealous and mad because he's popular that his followers are more intrigued about what eric has to say in his yes. own chat but i wanted debate to, to know that this is not his cult it's my cult these are my people my tribe i'm gonna come in here and tell me that i'm not pursuing truth you're about to get the fuck out and he gets butthurt and starts yelling to eric through the ch 
But doesn't he doesn't even, he doesn't, even Eric in the chat room. doesn't even use his name. No, Savanye. Right, because that's how jealous you are, and that's how I know this guy can't be trusted. The when six you... foot seven person is actually in in real life, he's like four feet tall. He's exactly. a little man, exactly. insecure. That's why he always has to talk about people being shorter than him. Because for a big guy like this, he's actually insecure about a lot shorter of men. <laughs> yeah, you that's what, what I'm I mean? saying. Like, Something must have happened with him and a short dude that he has this like seething. Like I don't understand insecure. what. It is. I don't I I do not understand what that is. It's just weird. But and everything he's saying, like I said, is already out there, is already been done on YouTube. We as the truth community already know this stuff, guys. Like let's be honest. Do we not know all of this stuff that he's talking about? What are we learning? If here? anything, it makes the truth or community look bad for associating with with Exactly. Old. Because he was already part of Hollywood. If ever there would anything was to happen that would be big or international they would go to somebody like him to talk to because also they can make it look worse than it is the like the, the truther or the flat earth community can look so bad when they have somebody like him representing it exactly because then they'll be like look at look this at all the videos where he's anti semi racist prejudice yeah every word that you can think they'll of. use all that to throw back in your face there's there is there is free speech and then there's no filter I'm sorry, you're gonna lose a lot of the people who like you or would want to like you or want to listen to you or even people who don't know this info and they're brand new to this type of stuff. Who is gonna listen to you when you've got no filter? You have to you have to make your delivery watchable and it's not. I don't understand how people think this is like so amazing. This guy is a pioneer for family values, but then we're gonna sit here and like listen to him dog on Jordan Peterson. What? Just. People, stop. Stop with the ass licking of Owen Benjamin. He's not a god. He's not that smart. I don't give a shit what he says. Because if he was that smart, he would be bringing us info that we don't already know. Okay? A lot of people can play a piano. A lot of people can play instruments. Three, four months ago, he was throwing beer cans at his dog because he keeps him behind a, a fence while he's yelling into a webcam and then wondering why the hours. dog is barking and making noise when you're on the other side of the fence yelling into a webcam and the dog's like, the fuck is going on here? It's midnight. Not why to is mention, he yelling? Maybe I should be yelling too. Then he gets mad to, at the dog and throws beer cans at him. He doesn't understand English and it's becoming a situation. I'm throwing, I'm throwing a can at him. You good? George, I'm trying to talk about wizardry. You guys don't understand. There's no way. There's no way. I didn't hit the dog. He's behind a fence. Honestly, if you guys want to listen to truth and have somebody like deliver it to you, no filter, there are a lot of other people on the internet who do a much better job, who are more articulate and way smarter than this guy. He's nothing on anybody. He's actually really bitter. And, he, and that's what I see. For a Very guy who claims bitter. he made all this money in Hollywood, is like begging for donations, donations and, and, and uh, PayPal donations for five, ten bucks here and there. I guess he must be struggling if you're asking for three thousand dollars to talk to somebody. Well, when your when your channel literally has no app, no real material, where you're just yelling about random things, you talk like in, like like a schizo in like a million different sentences to say one thing, but you keep b bouncing around to different topics. You can't even, s I just, I don't, I don't know. I just don't find his material that appetizing. And I feel like if I wanted my truth, I would get it from somebody who would give it to me. Because people will argue that- They'd make me laugh. No, like a lot of the truthers I watch make me laugh out loud. This guy doesn't. No, because people will be like, no. Owen Benjamin represents free speech, and if we take his free speech away, then we're n none of us are gonna have free speech. I don't care about free speech. I'm not saying to take anybody away. I'm saying this guy is a friggin' douchebag, and you shouldn't be modeling your life or taking advice from this guy who sits in his like outhouse drinking <laughs> beer and yelling at his dog and screaming into the mic about like how he's so pious and perfect. Meanwhile, nobody is. Like, let's be real, okay? Like, I don't have to go into the fact that he's not pious and perfect, okay? I understand it's cool to see some dude yell into a camera because that kind of stuff is sensational. But you also have to know that he's only using that sensational stuff to get your views. It's not because, I honestly don't even know if I think, if I believe that he fully believes 
the stuff he says. Like, I feel like he comes on with his, like, um, his little, like, uh, itinerary for what he's gonna cover, and he has, like, little tabs open and stuff, but I don't think he actually believes in the things he's saying. He's saying it because he knows those are sensational topics that's, that's going to get him views. That's why he talks about all this stuff. He'll sit there and argue for the flat earth movement, and then five seconds later, yes. be like, but I'm not a flat earther. And I don't believe in flat earth, but it's like you were just arguing for the flat it's earth. Like for, for 10 it's like schizophrenic. It's I don't like because he's schizo using type what's mentality. popular and trying to lure in like different viewers. That's how I that's see him, see like a, a fisherman. This, he's just luring people that's in. That's why you see a bunch of these desperate uh, flat earthers that are in the chat mm -hmm. constantly trying to be like, hey Owen, hey Owen, mm -hmm. and blah blah blah. Like mm -hmm. me, Owen. You want to talk to me, Owen? Hey Owen, I'm a flat earther, Owen. It's like, yeah. They literally kissed this guy's butt. What are you kissing Owen Benjamin's butt for? Why? I don't understand. Why would you kiss any of these people's butts? You have the life that they are trying to emulate. We, You as the individual have more power and have a better life and you're probably happier than these people who claim to be on their soapbox and they're saying all this stuff and they're preaching and yelling and screaming. A lot of the times these people are more degenerate than you could ever imagine. So don't, just don't be taking this guy's word to heart and be making life decisions or anything based on this type of stuff like this is purely purely entertainment and if you don't see that then oh my gosh <laughs> he even says it himself half the time he'll go this is just entertainment i'm, I'm a comedian and i'm a comedian don't forget owen stuck up for alex crowder all these guys that he's actually swearing at right now and calling them the worst, worst names talking about their ever. families and all this stuff right he's like making he claims that stick crowder... up for them and the only reason he's throwing him under now is because they don't want anything to do with him so now exactly. he's like i got all your guys's dirt yes. and secret yes now i'm gonna put it out there in the in the public mm -hmm. but because that that way i don't come off as a sellout it's like you are a sellout exactly. you went along with them yes until they were like hey owen get the fuck out of here yeah. we don't like you anymore exactly then all of a sudden owen uh, is this owen pious is, yes humble yes. man who left those people because of his god complex and his morals and standards are way too high and he has his following and he doesn't want to let down the young mm -hmm. people that look up to him right of course don't you see yes that's I've who he is that is exactly who he is it's li that's literally what it is that's why he hates people who are succeeding more than him like the friends that he hates now Exactly. Every day he's Just talking, like he's talking shit about, about them. How Crowder um, what is, uh, was turned, taking advantage yeah, of all of his all of his crew and all of his co-workers. Also, how Meanwhile, can you, make... you knew this and you still worked for Crowder. Right. You know what I mean? And that you... was all okay because Crowder was still employing you and giving you your check. But the moment Crowder was like, "Get the hell out of here," anymore. then I'm all not of a friends sudden, with him. he's a fucking sellout. He, he doesn't won't impregnate his wife. He won't impregnate. He's that's so unchristian. He doesn't even pay his employees. That sounds like a lot of like, I'd be careful with the type of stuff I'm saying about not paying his employees and making all of these comments. These things could have legal ramifications. He and I think it, Crowder is trying to like do something about him talking shit about him, but he doesn't want to say it because he's just going to come and be like, if I yell and scream, I'll get enough some support for my people. And, and then Crowder and will forget, back though, off. He has to bring up Crowder's name right now to get Crowder's he's followers to look into this and watch these videos right. and get mixed up like in I the said, beef. He's an opportunist. Exactly. So then next week, it's going to be the next person he's, yeah. who's popular. Or Jordan some Peterson, theory. what, like last summer, Jordan Peterson was like the, like everybody was like, Jordan Peterson, Jordan. all of a sudden, what he do? Skrr. I hate Jordan Peterson. He's not, what are, you, what are you guys listening to him for? He's not even smart. You know, he's actually stupid. He's really dumb. Like I'm smarter than him. The guy's like a fucking PhD in psychology and Owen Benjamin is still smarter though. Like, uh, you turned against him. You look like a bad friend for turning against your friends. I don't understand. I don't want to be friends with somebody who turns against their friends. Because what do I know? You might turn against me just like you did your friends and then really solve their secrets and whatever. You know what I mean? How do people trust somebody like that? How would you want to be friends with him when you see the way he treated his like two, three closest friends that he had like just like two years like a year ago how how do you trust him he's a backstabber he's gonna go like go work for these people do all of these skits write stuff make music make money and then once they have a falling out i'm gonna tell all your secrets wah, wah, i'm a big baby i'm gonna take my ball and go home like <laughs> what owen's not a sellout 
but he wants money because his followers are begging him to talk to certain individuals who would willingly do it for free. I don't know but how this cocksucker to such a wants to person. force his followers to so give bitter. him money so he could talk to somebody that, that they want him to talk to. He's so bitter. But he's not a sellout though. The guy who wants $5,000 to talk to he's Sabanye so is not a sellout. He's so bitter and insecure about the fact that of he doesn't have not. as much money anymore and he's not as popular anymore and that his friends are more popular and have three times the amount of money that they had. He's so bitter about it. It oozes through his like every word that comes out of his mouth just tastes bitter. It just, it's so bitter. It's so jealous. You can see it in his eyes, the way he talks about them. He's just like so nasty to the point where it's like, you're just half the stuff you're saying. I know you're exaggerating because you even admitted that you exaggerate stuff. Yeah. Remember the whole thing with his mom? He admitted the next day or the next week or something that he exaggerated all that. Yeah, like, he made what? a video saying, Ugh. they're trying to fire my mom. Everybody's attacking my mom. Because you need to call stuff. the school. <laughs> and tell them not to fire my mom and then later on oh yeah um i kind of over exaggerated the story but <laughs> but anyways wash my feet so i can get drunk and yell at my subscribers you know it's funny some of his subscribers will write like very heartfelt comments to him they'll be like hey owen love your show long time follower love everything you do but brother you know like ease down on the alcohol a little bit you know because you have young people looking up to you and what's owen's response ben Hey, Owen, love your show, but can, uh, can you turn up the volume a bit? Ben! ben. Hey, Owen, we, the other day you were talking about how you wanted to get into some, like, uh, flat earth stuff. How about you interview, uh... Ben! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, yet these are the best people, apparently, in our society. Of course. Didn't, didn't you know Owen gave up alcohol? These, he is a holy man of the Bible now. Apparently, everything we just said, He's still the most pious, <laughs> the most pious Christian. <laughs> oh my God. He's still the epitome of what to look up to. Hey guys, I'm like making raised beds and growing uh, broccoli and, and spinach and, and it's parsley. It's like, buddy, yeah, we know it's you like, don't have a job yeah, anymore. <laughs> humans have been doing this for over 5,000 years, Owen. And plus like, you don't go to a, work, a, a place of employment, so clearly you have time to grow stuff. Obviously. Like, like I told you, he wakes up Jeez. with a hangover, right? Starts watching conspiracy videos. Then Gets the by ideas noon, for what he wants to talk He'll start drinking again and then do a live show and, and regurgitate what, what he, he just watched. Yeah, as if he read it in a book and studied it for And knew years. it for a long time ago. Yeah, why don't you That's talk about thing. the Bilderberg group, Owen? Since you're so smart, why don't you enlighten us on the Bilderbergs? <laughs> Why don't you do some real research? That was my first and the thing is, impression I, of like, him. I was like, why is this guy who just learned about these conspiracies and these like world events he doesn't know is going anything. on his own channel talking about it as if he's an expert on the topic. And as if he didn't just learn about it. That's the thing. If that's you just point. learned about it and you want to tell people, hey guys, I just discovered this thing. That's one thing. And that's totally cool because everybody like that's cool. That's sharing knowledge. But you just learned about it and you're acting, you're putting up the facade as if you knew this your entire life, basically. Exactly. As if you knew this way before you were even a conservative. Then why were you a conservative That's my then? That's point. That's why if you if you look up his channel, he starts talking about uh, nukes being fake and that they're not what we think they are. Who made the most popular video on that topic? Eric Dubé. Exactly. But then he'll talk about Eric Dubé and diss him, make fun of him, threaten him in his own chat, and then say, yeah, uh, I'm not bringing Eric on unless you give me $5,000. Meanwhile, you got your whole nukes not being real from Eric Dubé. The Earth is flat. Hello. My name is Eric Dubé. I live in uh, the Asia. The Earth is flat. Most of the flat earth stuff that you've been looking into come directly from Eric Dubé. He's the main source of a lot of the stuff that we know about when it comes to flat earth, right? Even if you don't believe in it, it doesn't matter. But Eric Dubé is a key figure when it comes to flat earth. You want to talk about flat earth and then diss Eric Dubé and be like, I want $5,000 before I talk to him. You're clearly scared. Obviously. Clearly you're very, very... And then you... How do you mask your insecurity? By saying you're not insecure. And by putting up a facade of that you're not and insecure. And attacking people personally. Attacking and going on the defensive about it. What is he doing? Savanier? Savanier? 
He tells, that is the most he tells insecure Eric, thing he tells ever. Eric today to come on his show, and then Eric is in the chat room like, "Hey, I'm ready." Insecure. Send me the Google Hangout. Some guy knows more this. about something. I'm talking about a different topic today, Eric. You better shut up, Eric, before I kick you out of chat, Eric. Before I ban you. Banned forever. You're gonna be banned forever. He's like a little kid. I'm gonna forever. take my ball and go home. Well, when you're drinking like 14 beers a day, you're gonna make a lot of stupid mistakes and go back on 80% of the shit you said. If you guys have been watching this guy as long as I have, you will see that most of the shit he said last summer don't line up with the stuff he's saying this summer. Like he just goes back on everything. It's every day I watch it and he says something that he's going back on from the day before. At this point, what are you even listening to? We're listening to a recovering alcoholic. It's it's only the conservatives I think that are really his actual fans because they're the ones because that want to hear. they're clinging on to what little bit of hope they have yes. that they and, 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 and to them, in. they they like that. That's why they write up their alley. Because you know what I mean? So for them, they like it when he like calls people names and cusses them out and acts stupid and acts like a total in immature 40 year old man. Like you don't, you're not acting like a 40 year old man. Like the rest of the people you're constantly calling names act way more mature than, than this. Eric Dubé in the chat. Yeah, I'm excited to talk to him. Eric, let's, uh, let's maybe Monday, if you want to stream in. Because he's in, uh, he's in Asia somewhere. The earth is flat. Hello. My name is Eric Dubé. I live in uh, the Asia. The earth is flat. Pretty funny. Not taking a shot at you, Eric. I'm just being funny. So Owen is not a truther, he's a friend. What does that mean, Eric Dubay? You're about to get banned for life. I don't give a fuck how many people like you. How am I not a truther? What does that mean? I don't seek the truth? Er Eric Dubay, explain yourself or you're banned for life. What, is it, what does a truther mean? I, I'm definitely always going for truth, my friend. Because if you say I'm not a truther, that has a very passive-aggressive element to it, Eric. You want to get banned for life? I'll ban anybody. I don't give a fuck how many people love you. I'll tell you Monday. Okay, fine. We'll do it. We'll do it Monday. Is Dubay still here? Dubay? Where's Dubay? Because Dubay was saying I wasn't a truther, which makes me want to ban him for life. But, you know, I really want to talk to him. People seem to really enjoy it. Can't ban the banner. The truth always, will always, yeah, always truth. Always truth. Dubay is mice. No, I, I've, I like Dubay. I don't know anything about Dubay, but I, I like the name. Eric Dubay. It sounds nice. And I like that he hangs out. You know, I like I like that he's part of the community. I just don't like that he implied that I wasn't uh, a truther. I don't know. It sounds a little cunty. Sounds a little cunty. Maybe a little Eric Duguay. And truth is more important than friendships. One more and you're banned for life. Do you think I don't know that? Do you think I don't know truth is important, you stupid cunt? Eric, I want to be your buddy here. I want to be your buddy. You don't think that I've, I've lost friends because I seek truth over, over allies. Eric, I'm trying here. You live in Thailand. It's already a little suspect. And I got Eric Duguay telling me that I don't seek truth 
over friendship. I was friends with some of the biggest movie stars in the whole world where they'd be like, oh, and come to our party. We're having a rave. And now they don't because I gave up CAA and all of it because I stood up for children and trans bullshit. Eric Duguay, you want to talk to me about fucking Flat Earth, motherfucker? You better have some little bit of respect. You're banned for life. One more and you're banned for life. One more and you're banned for life. And then you don't get to come on my stream, motherfucker. It's not because I'm scared of the earth being flat. It's because you're being a cunt. One more, Eric. One more and you're out. Because you, you can get high and mighty when you're in this category. When you're like a flat earther, and I understand you get a lot of shit. But when you're in a fucking, that community, and you're like, obviously he doesn't know the truth. You want to know what you sound like? A 15th century pope is what you sound like. You don't think I know that shit? You don't think I was raised Catholic, motherfucker? One more comment, Eric, and you're banned for fucking life. I'm looking. One more, Eric. One more. One more saying, oh, you, friendship over truth. You're, you're banned for life. One more. I'm watching. Hang on. Hang on. I just saw an Eric. Was that the right Eric? Nothing. Nothing. That's right, motherfucker. Nothing, huh? Yeah, you sit the fuck down. You don't ever say that shit to me again. Friendship over truth, you will, I'm banning you as soon as you speak again. I'm fucking done with your shit. Hang on, someone just said Owen cult members. Eric teaches truth. Yeah. Eric sounds like a fucking cult leader. Eric's done. Eric's done. Eric's done. One more, one more peep out of you that isn't an apology. And you're out. And that's the straight up fucking truth. I don't trust people that live in Thailand. Think I give a flying fuck about your little flat earth bullshit? Owen likes friendship over truth. I live alone in a fucking compound, bro. You stupid cunt. I'm I'm drawn on the side of the Hollywood improv. They drew me in a mural. The things I've given up for truth would make your fucking head spin. What did you give up for truth, Eric? You probably get more from this flat earth shit than you ever gave up. Am I right or wrong? You come at the king, you best not miss, you little bitch. Eric Dubay, more like Eric Dugay. What brought you to Thailand, huh? I'll dig into your fucking life. Is Eric Dubay, is Eric commented? Is Eric commented? I haven't seen the comment. Of course, he never fucking super chats. Truth, o friendship over truth, Dubay. Yeah, Eric's hiding now. He's about to get banned, motherfucker. Here's the thing about this that, that motherfucker. I'll tell you. I'll tell you about some. Here's the downfall of the flat Earth community, and I'll tell you guys straight up. They get a little too high and mighty. They get a little too high and mighty about how they know something no one else knows and how they're all persecuted. It's very Jewy. And and I've been a friend to these people by saying, you know, like, I, I get that it must be hard, you know, all that stuff, and there is some, some good arguments. But don't you for a fucking second, Eric. Your name is Eric. Eric. Eric backwards is sire. Yeah, it gets a little, they get a little cocky. They do get it's very Jewy. They, the flat earthers are, are almost like a form of Jews. Owen's not a truther. Because I don't believe in your fucking bullshit. You start a cult, I'll firebomb it. Did Dubay get banned? No, debate's not banned. But I wanted Debay to know that this is not his cult. It's my cult. These are my people. My tribe. You want to come in here and tell me that I'm not pursuing truth? You're about to get the fuck out. My flat earth buddy thinks that wasn't the real earth Dubay, the real Eric Dubay. He says that isn't his style worth confirming or disproving. Assuming he's such an asshole, it would be a good debate. 
he's I'm gonna have him on no matter what. I'm ex- I'm excited to have on Eric Dubay. I was just trying to you know impose a little dominance. I'm excited to meet Eric Dubay. I really am. Hey, it's Monday and I'm ready to flat chat, says Eric Dubay. Well, we will. I a little update on my flat chat. And it will be a chat right now because I don't have enough ammo to fully debate and give it enough. One of my close friends who's a nuclear physicist who got his PhD from Caltech, he's IQ, what, 200, also a functioning retard. Um, good guy. I've been friends with him for years and years and years. I, I texted him today. I'm like, dude, I need ammo about the Earth being a sphere. And he was laughing. He was like, one of my colleagues uh, said that you're calling everyone who doesn't think we went to the moon a retard. He's like, no one's even upset about the moon. It's the word retard. And he's like, I'm like, yeah, I find it funny. He's like, I also find it funny. But anyway, so I'm like, I need some ammo, smart science guy. And so, (laughs) so he sent me, so he sent me a picture. He's like, of a girl on in Antarctica and it's like, Hey, flat earth people, why aren't I upside down? And he's like, it's a home run. And I'm like, have you guys not heard the flat earth arguments? It's as if they don't know the arguments. And there is, you know, there isn't a level of annoyance with some of the flat earth arguments where it's like, uh, what's gravity? Ah, magnetism. You know, it's like, you can't prove gravity. Well, neither can you. Ah, here we are to stand still. But, Antarctica being upside down, that, that, that's like the worst argument ever. So, uh, you know, I'm still working on my side and I've, I've, I've elicited the help of literally some of the best scientists in the world and they suffer the same hubris that I see a lot of people suffer from. Again, I still believe the earth is a sphere. I'm just having a very hard time proving it and I'm just being honest about my entire journey. And I'm fearless about it because I'm doing my due diligence. I'm not just like, you know, hear one fact about someone with a zoom lens seeing a ship and I'm like, no way, it's flat. I'm doing my absolute due diligence and uh, I hope you enjoy the ride because this is fun. This is what human beings should do. We're curious animals. We like to question things. Eric DeBay says, Owen, why do you feel you have to prepare just to chat with me? I've taken off this morning specifically to talk with you, as you had mentioned Monday. Well, we didn't set it up, and we're talking about Michael Jackson, dude. Stay on topic. Everything isn't about you and your theories about the earth, Eric. Just just fucking stay on topic. Don't make the whole chat about Eric fucking Dubay in Thailand. I give you respect, dude. I want to know more before I talk to you, but th- because this is all completely new for me. We never set up. I said, maybe I'd talk to you on Monday. Maybe not. I almost didn't do the chat because I got kind of a cold because I wasn't wearing fucking feet, uh, shoes last night. If you keep talking about the flat earth during this, you are banned, dude. And that's one warning. One fucking warning. One more and you're out, Dubay. You're out. And I'll have you on my stream. You can tell me all about the flat earth. But do not fucking talk about that shit on here while we're talking about Michael Jackson's clone. Have some fucking respect. I respect your crazy ass theories and I'm trying to treat you with respect. Treat me with respect, motherfucker, or you're banned for life. Who is your master? Who is your master? Dubay. More like Dubay. Here we go. Respect, respect the chat, Dubay, or you're out. I don't give a fuck how many people like you.
I emailed Eric Dubay today because I wanted to actually talk about that flat earth stuff. I'm not going to get into it again, but just one quick point. People were talking about the Coriolis effect. Coriolis effect is when a, a sniper shoots a bullet. It, it has to factor in the spin of the, the rotation of the earth. And how it affects the bullet. Okay. People are using that as proof that the earth is round and spinning. They don't have to do that with a plane, though. So a plane, a bullet that's that's right here in this atmosphere, like with the most dense atmosphere, like we're all spinning. It's all the same. But it, when it's released from the gun, the spin of the earth underneath it, as it falls 9.82 meters per second squared, uh, the spin of the earth changes. Do you have to know what direction you're shooting? Is his spin going east-west? So not only is that not real, if you argue that and then you say a plane at 30,000 feet is unaffected by the spin of the Earth, and so if the Earth is spinning 1,000 miles, I'm not going to get into it, but once you see it, you're like, whoa. And uh, it's a mind fuck, and I don't want to endlessly talk about it because um, people just... And, and and people know you're not stupid. Like it's it's obvious I'm not stupid. It's obvious I'm not doing that for attention or money or anything. In fact, it's uh, extremely ostracizing, and you get a lot of verbal abuse online when you even question that the Earth is um, just falling endlessly through a vacuum. You know, just spinning. Uh, but it's it doesn't add up at all. Someone said Dubay is ready. Let's flat chat. I emailed him this morning. I now have a new show idea. I don't just it, it, Dubay isn't like a special ops guy. It's like Dubay's ready, dude. Let him in. Let him in. It's like, dude, he's not fucking Jackie Chan. I now I'm doing another thing. We'll we'll talk we'll do we'll talk about that another stream. Please, brother, give Eric Dubay a call. I, I, it was a mistake to even say that I should, I should have him on. He, the fan, the, the, the fact that that the, him and his people overtake every fucking chat. Everyone's like, Dubay is here. Oh, and Dubay is here. Yeah, now we're talking about the definition of words and the future of Jews. Another time, I'll talk. I'll love to talk to Dubay. I emailed him this morning asking if he wanted to do this to uh, discuss the shape of the Earth. So I, I don't. He sounds cool. I've never watched any of his videos. I listen to ODD sometimes, and he seems to like Dubay. When you must speak to Dubay. Dubay will, will fix everything. I don't give a fuck. And I, he seems he, he gave me a compliment on Ursa Manor, which I really appreciate, Dubay. Thank you. But I'm not. This whole overtaking of the chat thing is. It, if anyone knows how, how I act at all, uh, knows that that's the opposite way to ever handle me, ever. Don't ever force me to do anything or I will literally burn everything to the ground. If someone's like, oh my God, this guy's here. You must let him in. I'm like, well, now he's dead. I just I just killed him. Because you, you it's like, oh, you're having a party? You have to let in Savanye. Savanye must be in this party. Oh my God, Savanye's outside. I'm like, well, we're playing beer pong. Savanye, is Savanye here? I, I, and then someone go, oh my God, someone killed Savanye. And I'm just standing over Savanye and I'm like, now, now Savanye never comes in. Go back to the game of beer pong. And I really did just kind of want to talk about Flat Earth. But it, uh, Savanye, oh my God, is Savanye here? You must speak. And then Savanye is like, I am here. Let me in now. And I'm like, Savanye, I sent you a uh, 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 an invitation yesterday. You never responded. I am here now. I'm Savanye. It's like, oh, Savanye is here. You must let him in. Someone killed Savanye. And I'm like, and I will kill everyone at this party if anyone says the fucking word Savanye ever again. Everyone dies. I will play beer pong alone. I will play beer pong alone. Dude, just this, uh, a series of LOLs and ha ha ha's because everyone gets that what I'm saying is, is both true and hilarious. One guy says, you're unstable, man. Now he's banned for life. And he should call his dad because his dad ruined him. It was a great time to ban people because that was clearly funny. Like what I just said was clearly hysterically funny. And let, like Savanye. Oh, my God, Savanye. And so anyone that's like, oh, my God, Owen, you have serious anger problems. You're now banned for life. 
Savanya is like, I'm here. Let me in now. It's like, no, I, I sent you an invitation, but I'm here now. My name is Savanya. I'm willing to play beer pong with you. Yeah, but there's already, there's eight people in line. Savanya, you must speak to Savanya. And then like half the party's like, oh, Jesus, not Savanya again. Just fucking talk about the words and the Jews and the fun stuff. Why the fuck is everyone talking about Savanya again? And then the other half of the party's like, Savanya knows everything. If you talk to Savanya, he will make your world complete. And then, oh my God, Savanya's bleeding out. <clears throat> Savanya is dead now. By the way, I did not actually kill Eric Dubé, and I have nothing against Eric Dubé. It's just there is a Eric Dubé type effect. Every time Dubé comes in the chat, you know, like I've went into Vox Day's chat a couple times and just written stuff that was kind of pertinent and seemed interesting. And way too many people reacted to me, so I left. Because I'm like, this is Vox's thing. So many people, and I appreciate everyone saying hi. They're like, Big Bear, but it's like, no, all right, I'm out. I, I pay attention to what he's saying. But the people that are like, oh my God, Savanye. And meanwhile, I'm 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 proposing a very peaceful world that we could have if we just ignore the Jewish media and no one ever has to die or start the cycle of victimization all over again. And everyone's like, Savanye is here. His name is Jillian Savanye. Jillian Savanye. Jillian Savanye has set the world free. When no one would speak, Jillian Savanye spoke. And now we must all listen to Savanye. Sounds cool. I've never watched any of his videos.